Another week. It's late fall, but it actually feels like maybe early winter. And we are way up north this week, Minnesota. We are at Jay Cook State Park. Really cool state park up here, just over the border of Wisconsin and Minnesota. It's our first time here. This will be our second time in Minnesota. I guess we only come to Minnesota when it's cold. Go back in the playlist. We first came up to Gooch State Park when it was like January or February and ridiculously cold. But we decided to come up for this one. Most of the color has already happened here. There's still some color, but it's definitely past peak. So you know what? We left the house. We knew we were going camping. There was a few places we had in mind. We just, we actually made the decision on the road. Just roll with it. Live today. Camp is set up. We got here, it was still daylight, but it's getting dark quick. So got the fire going. It's like 35 right now. It's supposed to drop down to the low 20s. So we are boondocking. No heat in the teardrop. She's complaining as usual. We do have the hot tent set up over on this side of me. So we might burn the stove and I'm gonna sit in there and do some editing later. She'll be in bed, but we can use it to take the chill off in the morning too. We're gonna sit in there and eat or cook our coffee or whatever. Cause it is supposed to be a hard freeze tonight. So first one of the season, definitely dropping, getting cold. I'm sure the peanut gallery is on her way over here to tell you how cold she is or not. But we are cooking up some soup and I'll let her show you that in a minute. She's started the prep work on it and it's Halloween week. So happy Halloween, you guys. Hope you have a great Halloween weekend. Got our little Halloween decoration. I will check back in in a little bit. A couple people here, not too many brave souls. Hope you guys enjoyed the canoe trip and the Door County trip. She's rapidly getting her bed set up because she's gonna make a quick exit after dinner. You know how it works. But let's show you on camp. So we got the hot tent over here. As you can see, it's a little dark, but there's the hot tent, campers over there. And then we got our picnic table. The fire pits are really nice here. They're big and deep ones. They got a good cooking grate on them. Trucks back there. And let's go check in on the Chef Boyardee over there. Got my fingers off. My fingers are already cold, super old. Go ahead now. What's on the menu? Well, courtesy of our friend Dave, we are going to have loaded baked potato soup. It was really good when we had it the other day, so she decided to make it since it's cold out. Yes. So we're just putting a lot more bacon than the recipe called for. Why is that? Um, it's cold and it's still frozen and this is how it's going. So it's gonna have a lot of ingredients. I was already trying to prep some of this stuff Why Big Daddy here was getting the campsite set up. So I chopped up, I've got potatoes, pounds, I've got an onion, I've got some garlic and I've got bacon. And I got a big pot that we're going to put over our crate on the fire. And we'll get that bacon rendering and we're gonna get going. Ooh. I have to get back over by the fire cause it's get cold. But let me wash my hands. I was trying to clean up my mess over here. I'm freezing. <laughs> my hands are like ice cold. Oh my god. Oh my god. Trying to acclimate. It's not working very well. There's not even snow on the ground. <gasps> <sighs> Delisa. <laughs> 
fires warm. So as the winter progresses and it snows on the ground. You gotta talk louder. So talk louder. So always talk louder. No, it's usually you're too loud. Okay. So as winter progresses and snow is on the ground, um, there's not gonna be a lot of this cooking recipe going on. It's gonna be I'll tell you about it and I'll try to put a recipe up my on my um camp cooking meals and put that on there. Um because it's going to be way too cold to chop up stuff. And the biggest thing is it's so hard to kind of like wash dishes and everything once it starts to get cold. Because then you got to heat water, all that kind of stuff. We're going to do it this time. So it'll be a lot of cooking this weekend. But we're just going to have to it'll be a little condensed as it gets colder and snow. It's iron, so just it, well, I don't want it blazing, but I need to get that bacon to kind of crisp a little bit. And that little bit of wood I add is going to burn. That's like going to burn. Take my gloves off before I'm gonna stir it though. Some of the butter. I left all the bacon grease in there. Now I'm down that butter, and then I'm gonna put my cloves of garlic and my onions in. Garlic, onions, butter, and bacon grease. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna add our flour, about a one third cup. Kind of making a little bit of a roux here. And we're gonna let that cook for about a good minute or two, kind of scrape in the bottom, get the, that floury taste off of there, and then we're gonna add our liquid. Now you see I actually took all of our nice bacon bits out and put those on there on a drain, on a paper towel. We'll reserve those for later. Now we're gonna add our four cups of chicken broth, two cups of milk. I'm just gonna use my little measuring here. And then we're going to add our seasoning, which was half a cup of chili powder, or half a, sorry, half a teaspoon of chili powder. Half one, a cup, I know. Crazy? Half a teaspoon of chili powder, one, tape, one teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of pepper. And then we are going to add all of our potato. Well, let's make sure I'm not going to, I don't want to get splashed with this. Okay. Our soup is going well. I mashed up some of the potatoes. I added the bacon. I'm gonna add my cheese and sour cream. It's so cold, you're not gonna see anything. <laughs> what are you doing? Like, I'm getting like smoked out. You keep adding cheese and stopping and adding more cheese. Well, I don't have my measuring cup, so I'm just kind of going with it. It is eight o'clock and it's 30 degrees. Ooh, we, have such a, we always have such a mess. That's on you. Okay, you're dripping soup everywhere. Got a little cocktail, even though it's cold. Thanks for the... Thanks for what? The, it's right blowing in my face. My God, you can not stop complaining. Okay, seriously? She's never going to make it in January. It's like October. There, strap in. We got a lot of winter camping to go. I want to talk about it. Ugh. Cause you haven't put your long johns on three hours later because she didn't cover the soup because she okay. thought oh it'll be warm enough i was like uh, it's not that cold out no it's cold enough you Ooh. had to cover the soup to get it to cook faster yeah but like, this is our thing we're always we actually eating got, when it's late no, at night anyways. i don't like to do that we actually got here early the chef had problems tonight okay yep i don't want to hear it okay <laughs> seriously oh man this would be good with a grilled cheese oh yeah that would be good Last week, or whenever it was, Stop. was the grilled cheese and no soup. Now we have the soup and no grilled cheese. Although, boy, does that go down good when it's cold. Ooh, yeah. It is good. Maybe a little more cheddar cheese. A little more bacon. Dave's was better. Okay, stop it. I'll give you a B for okay. first attempt on hey, the, stop. that one. His was thicker and more bacon flavor. Um, she dumped half the bacon on the ground. I we don't... didn't show that. That was er and edit out. <laughs> Maybe we did show that. No, we didn't. We'll wait and see when we get to the editing table. You'll either what? know or you won't. <laughs> well, you're not. I haven't made that decision. Okay. I'm not playing with you. <laughs> <laughs> Who dumps bacon on the ground okay, and wastes half of it? mean to dump the bacon on the ground. You know, I had so much stuff. You know, put this here. Put that there so you can film. It's your fault. No, oh, it's because you wanted to be close to the fire. You should have just cooked over by the table. You put your long johns on. You weren't prepared. I have to say, these fire pits here are huge. They're really tall. Ooh. I don't know if that's a good or bad thing. I guess it's good because you can pile a 
a whole lot of wood in there. Man, the hot tent, wow, it is warm. We got stoking going in there. Went in there to change clothes. I'm gonna sit in there and edit later when grandma goes to bed. Okay. That's you. Yeah, we could have been at a plug-in site. We don't need electric, we're boondocking. Okay. Trying to get you ready for winter. Picking that blood up. Okay. You're not gonna make it in January. There's no plug-ins in January. Out there, those people are saying, yes, I need electric. <laughs> Some of them are. It's not too bad. It is nippy, though. The camp, the campground, there's a decent amount. There's not a crazy amount of people here. Oh, no. I'd say maybe less than a dozen. Mm -hmm. It's pretty nice. The sites are... You have to kind of look around. Some sites are pretty big. It's not the weekend, though. We're, yeah. We're, we're out during the week. Off. Yeah. So, I don't know how the weekend, but although you're getting, because the bathrooms are fully closed here. There's nothing other than the Yeah, the pit showers toilets. and bathrooms are shut down for winter. So, it might not be, even with weekend, as many diehards. Remember, if we go up to uh, Teta Gooch, which we're not that far from, they have the hot showers in the winter. They have the one bathroom that's yeah. open. Woo, that's good. Sandwich would have been good, too. Uh, yeah. <laughs> The grilled cheese with the one Stop. slice of ham. Stop. <laughs> Look, he's made me have a hole in my chin. <laughs> Shh. You're so Shh. Loud. Wait, it's not bedtime. Is it bedtime? It's still later. Don't it be is. So loud. It's 8 14. This really is the best time of year to camp. Wow. Right, this is a little bit past okay. ideal. There's a lot of people that are already putting their campers up and they're done for the year. We're just getting going, baby. Uh, I really think just to drive up here, like fall, the fall colors and the cooler air, that's the, my favorite time to camp for sure. What about you guys? Summer is good, but get you some warm soup and it's cooler at night. You can always do a fire. Usually there's no rain, although there could be snow. It just snowed up this way yesterday, a little bit, really early. Not enough to stick. Where's but. Jack? Jack is at home, baking cookies, might I add, as on we found out night. on the spy cam. Yeah, on a school <laughs> night, I go to check on Jack, and he's in the kitchen making cookies. What's going on? M&M cookies. What? I, why does he make me any cookies when I'm home? But I think we're going to call it a night on the filming. We will, I got to get on some editing and clean up. I gotta get my lawn johns on. You're going to bed, Grandma. That's exactly where I'm going. But finish tomorrow, my uh, your cider. You're not last chance it. cider, cherry cider. Living the dream. <sighs> Anyways, we will see you guys in the morning. We're gonna. I feel like we're done now. pie I'm about to eat so we have crawled <laughs> crawled out of the teardrop which was I started out at 36 I think this morning it was like 48 in there put the stove back on in the hot tent and we're in here cooking because it's just a lot warmer so I whipped up I used my little backpacking uh, pan and I put some English muffins in there and I brought some apple cinnamon jam with pieces of apple delish so we're gonna start out with some english muffins and for the coffee selection this morning i have perfectly pistachio what okay seriously that's not gonna taste good it'll be fine look at they look so yummy look at those apple chunks on there they look so fogged up is what it is okay here you take this one that's yours So I looked when we got up, it was 22 degrees, a little frosty. But I was warm and it was just cold at first. It was cold at first. It was like, I think the, the teardrop said it was like 34, 35. It was in the 30s. It Once was, you get your cold. body heat going in there, obviously we don't run heat. So we could have had an electric site and she's mad about it. We're not going to talk about that. <laughs> you got to get used to winter time because January's going to be here. Ooh. 
That was it for breakfast. It wasn't impressive. No, I'm gonna make some corn hash and eggs. Out there, probably. No, I was doing here. I don't want to get up, but I want to stand in the cold. Oh my god, it's already <laughs> warming up. You're such a ninny. Unless you're gonna get the other fire going. Although we're going through firewood like crazy. Yeah, we gotta go find some. We're just trying to figure out our, like this is the first time we've actually sat in here and cooked and hung it's out. It's not bad, it's just, it's, it's, well, it's, it's For me it's a challenge to try to get to the, film and yeah, to film everything and get everybody in the shot. And then like. The stove jack is, I think, ideally they could have had it one over, so it was a little more out of the way, but I guess the middle of the tent's better for heating. But it was really warm in here last night when we had it going. We don't have it going too hot right now, but it's still, it's a lot warmer. I'll have to get a little thermometer thing. It's a lot warmer than outside. I think this works though with our big table behind the stove. There's, it's not close enough. The pipe gets hot, but not like, doesn't radiate that much heat out. Boy, that coffee smells good. That's kind of why we wanted to do this because we need to figure all this stuff out now before it's zero degrees or below. Everything gets a lot harder. Already, um, the drink we left out in the can froze. The lantern oil froze. The you cooler. Can around, babe. The ice cold refrigerator is um, just switch seats. I do, I like this setup right here and then, well obviously we'll move it around at bedtime. We'll probably have the beds here and here on either side of the stove. We may still get, there's a double decker stove, we might still get that. We'll see how it goes. That's the other great thing about this tent is we can use it, we have our little awning thing, but it's a screen room so it's not good for winter. But this you can actually set up still with us when we bring the teardrop and hang out in here when it's just a little bit too cold outside. Or if it rains, we need to get out of the weather. Didn't leave the regular can opener in the box, so. No, that little old couple said go old school. But, no. You don't know, function old school. I just gotta not take my finger off. Wilderness no, survival. It's still, it's still <laughs> it's like... early. This was just a really free cold front. It did snow here before we got here. What, no burrito shells? No. They're out there. Ooh. No cheese either. That thing's gone. Awesome. You should have brought a bigger skillet in here for this. Well, you can't really fit a bigger skillet. Yes, on there's it. that small iron skillet, which would have held everything better. We should have used that. I don't know why you did that. Listen, you're always given that shit. And it would have transferred heat better. A bunch of lip. Because it took three hours to have dinner last night because you just underestimated the cold and the fire. And now. No, I didn't. It's taking you an hour made and a half fire. to make dinner you for breakfast. You made the fire. I was in charge of the recipe. And right, we had a good fire. You didn't cover the soup pot. Whatever. So all the heat just went straight out. Whatever. We're not having this discussion. I am always right. You didn't even bring cheese. You don't eat cheese with corned hash and eggs. I eat cheese with eggs. I don't care about your stupid hash. You gotta be so ornery. You didn't even, this is one instance I would eat this on a wrap. What? Did he just say? This is one instance I would eat this on a wrap. He would eat this on a burrito shell? No, Take note of that. Tortilla wrap. He just said it. Shh. He's missing the burrito shell. That's the coffee. It really is. <laughs> uh, Katie and Jeff commented, <laughs> what did you step on a frog? <laughs> like, no, that's our worn out GSI coffee French press. Babe, you gotta get your cup going here. You didn't bring my cup. Oh, well, it's going in your Cusca. That's not my Cusca, that's my whiskey barrel. You're having your whis whiskey barrel coffee. That's how that's going down. Am I burning my eggs? Close the thing, little. Listen, I'm working on it. Always messing with the chef. And why do we always have to have chocolate cream? Why can't we have like some vanilla or Let's something? Let's get your own then. Oh, you can have it on this is a little bit okay. of what's too in much. There. Okay, I'm having to help you out. The only words that should be coming out of your mouth is thank you so much, babe. Well, you're welcome. Yes, they said they're turning the shower. Oh yeah, so the showers and toilets. I thought they were supposed to be on. They just turned them off last night because it dipped down. 
because this weekend's supposed to get warmer and they're booked full, so they're going to turn them back on today. And they have a frost free water, one frost free water station in the park where you can get fill your water in the winter if you need it. Show them the soap. This is one of the. Well, it came This out is one of the challenges with it, winter camping. The it, soap is frozen. It came out and glopped. And you have to heat the water just to clean the pot. Okay, babe, are we off and running? What? We off to go see the sights. Yeah. I got some local stuff. So we're in Jay Cook State Park, and they have this beautiful river. So I had to look up. It is the St. Louis River Valley. So I kind of looked at some information on it. Um, it's a beautiful area to come visit, lots of trails. It says the St. Louis River watershed is a large covering 3,650 square miles. The St. Louis River begins in the Superior National Forest and flows southwest to Floodwood, which it turns to flow southeast to Lake Superior. Between river miles 72.5 and 37.1, this river features the only whitewater rafting opportunities in Minnesota, which we've seen tons of buildings for that. Many of the rapids along the water should only be attempted by experienced paddlers, because I thought there actually was a lot of rocks and stuff. Between river miles 20.4 and zero, the lower segment of the river has been designated as a national water trail. Remember by Lake Superior? Yes. Oh, so here's our thing. Jake, Jake, Cook? Yeah, it's not cookie. <laughs> Stop. Jay Cook State Park. Sure. Another must-see spot along the St. Louis River is a historical Jay Cook State Park, featuring over 50 miles of hiking, 8 miles of biking, 6 miles of horse trails, um, 34 miles of cross-country skiing, and 8 miles of snowmobile trails. The park is a delight for outdoors men of all types. Um, it's full of natural beauty and wildlife with wildflowers in the spring and vivid colors in the fall, which you will see because we have been showing some of those off. We're a little late on it. We're a little late, but there's still some beautiful colors. And hardwood forests as well as deep water, eroded gorges, and massive rock formations, which we're trying to show you. Along with the natural elements, the park features several historic sites, including the Swinging Bridge, which we're going to go to, Pioneer Ceremony Cemetery, which we're going to check out, and Grand Portage Trail. To explore the park, you can hike, bike, or ski along the recreational activities, but there are also a lot of geocaching units and snowshoes on site. Open to campers, offering a variety of options, including tent campsites, RV campsites, and cabins if you want to stay one night or several nights. Hey guys, we are at one of the famous um, lookouts here at the park. This is Swing Bridge. So tonight we kind of were trying to check out the sunset, so we took a trip over here. It is absolutely beautiful. The bridge does actually swing a lot when you try to cross it. Well, it's a suspension bridge. It's a suspension bridge. Um, and a lot of the rock formations that you're going to see is slate. And there's another rock name, but I'm not even going to try to pronounce it. Go on. No, we know. Everyone wants to hear your uh, pronunciation. <laughs> no. Do it. it gray green, whack. Gray wacky or some kind of slate and some other kind of rock to actually form these formations. It is stunning. So I really suggest getting out here. And once you cross over on the bridge, there is tons of hiking trails. But if you're, a lot of them have some rocks. Um, you have to climb up so it can be kind of slick. So I really suggest good hiking shoes, but absolutely beautiful. We are going to include some pictures of a lot of the water footage, the rocks, the trails. It is stunning. We have started the fire. It's a little chilly. It's not supposedly Big Daddy says it's not gonna be as cold as yesterday, but I think that's a lie. There is a lot more people than last night. Which is strange for during the week. Yes. So we were just at the swing bridge checking that out and some of the trails. Absolutely beautiful. Today we hit Magnolia Cafe. 
Got some pretty awesome coffee there. We hit a meat market. Shot some great footage at some lookout points. Really good day. So now we're just trying to, oh, and we checked out some kind of pub. We, we did not have any mixed drinks, so I know that's kind of rare for us, but we, we had just, lunch. We had lunch, a quick little snack. So now we're back just at camp trying to settle down for the night. We are going to cook up some of the hot dogs that we got from this meat market, and they make their own Coney Island meat chili sauce. We're going to cook that up. Um, maybe put some cheese and some onions, simple stuff, maybe some chips and dip. So the chicken and dumplings that I promised as you're smoking out the camera will be another time. It's definitely Montana, or no, Minnesota. No, we're definitely not in Montana. <laughs> I've forgotten where we are. Montana on her mind. <laughs> Minnesota is definitely a must stop. Um, like I said, I didn't realize they're one of the only places that does like one place that does the river rafting, which looks kind of scary. It does say you have to be really super experienced, um, but that must be a summertime thing because the water levels look kind of low. You don't blow on that. I didn't blow on it. Because one of those embers are they're headed towards my camera. <laughs> I didn't even do anything. No, you're always trying to burn oh, down Oh, I didn't. <laughs> It's not a cooking station. Okay, it's a little bit of onion, some cheese, my keto bread. I got my Coney Island chili sauce. Why didn't for you my get dogs. buns? Well, we didn't have any buns. Get a little pork rind. I got to this, this Coney Island, like whatever this is, it's like sweet and spicy. Didn't we get some other kind of? What were the other things we got? Really? You don't remember? Taco Nacho Brats. Oh, that's right. Taco Nacho Shh. Brats. So loud. God, <laughs> you're We should have made those for dinner. Next time. And he pointed them out. We'll have to put some guac and some sour cream on there and a little bit of tomato. Oh, yes. Oh look, same breakfast as yesterday. <laughs> really slacking like Okay, this. listen. You are slacking. I haven't had a can of corn hash in a while, so I'm gonna savor it up. Ate half yesterday, finish the eggs and the hash off. I already ate my English muffin with some apple cinnamon, cinnamon jam. Big Daddy ate some leftover dinner from last night. That's how we're a, rolling. That was an early snack. That's how we're rolling right now. I don't want to start packing. That's how it always is. I was really hoping they were going to open the showers yesterday so I could at least kind of get cleaned off a little bit, but they're still not open. Where's the burrito shell? Oh, I'm going to whip out a burrito shell. I haven't had a burrito shell. In like five hours. Okay, don't even talk about it. You're the one who bought the nacho taco super charge, whatever That's those just things are. because I knew you were going to buy them if, you didn't, if I didn't see it. I like this place. It's been a fun, fun trip. It's beautiful up here. It's not much, not that far. I think we might start. One time we need to come to Minnesota when it's like summer. I don't know why we always end up here in the cold. Your tortilla off As here. You're handcrafting these burritos. Why you did that? Like, okay. Take that burrito now. <laughs> Slide that onto that plate. Right, uh, excuse is, you. <laughs> this is oh, I'm gonna take a picture of this. <laughs> 
That's a wrap. <laughs> Great couple of nights. Beautiful up here. You got to get up to Minnesota if you haven't been. This is our second stop. You know, we've been to Teddy Gooch in January. We'll be back, I'm sure. Mounds of snow, hot tenting it. But the most important thing is I've heard the bathrooms are open in the showers. Yes, so they it got warm <laughs> enough. They're reopening the bathroom and showers because they're planning on a busy full park weekend. And it got really full last night, so. So at least it's not snow season, so we can at least suck up if we can shower. Hot shower and hit the road. <laughs> and we will see you next week. So not it's goodbye. not goodbye, it's see you soon. See you soon. Bye guys. Shh, you're so freaking loud. <laughs> Let's go. The whole campground can hear you.